Tonight, a man faces charges for stealing mail straight from people's mailboxes. We will all work hard for what we have, and someone can come and mess it up just by taking some mail from you. New for 5.30, where he told police he was taking the mail to get a cash payout. Investigators say the suspect was not just targeting that St. Cloud neighborhood, but several parts of Central Florida. In fact, he said he was part of an even bigger ring that stole mail and brought it back to another man in exchange for money. Gentlemen, and Steve Barrett, live in Orlando for us tonight. Steve, he told police he mostly took the mail in the Orlando area. Yeah, that's where he says the main part of the ring is, even though he was busted down in St. Cloud. Uh, now police have brought in the Secret Service because this is a federal crime. They're looking into this ring, but they say this man was seen with a bag, kind of like this, over his shoulder, sort of a Grinch who stole Christmas cards. And he told police that he would simply walk up to mailboxes that were outside, grab everything in the inside, stuff it in a bag, and walk away. Yeah, no locks, nothing. So it's like, what do you do, you know? What do you do when a man's walking through your neighborhood stealing right from your mailbox? James Barney had just put a money order for a car payment inside his mailbox when it was stolen. I wouldn't have known until, you know, later on down the road, you know, being hit with a late fee and stuff like that. St. Cloud Police just revealed that they arrested Jalon Cobb for stealing mail just before Christmas, including James Barney's car payment. Early morning, the police had knocked on my door, woke me up. Um, said they apprehended a man who had been stealing mail, and the way they knew to knock on my door is he had some of my mail. A police officer saw Jalon Cobb walking on this street when he stopped and tried to question him. Cobb, he says, ran off in that direction. They finally caught up with him, and he later told police he was on his way to meet a man who was going to pay him for the mail that he allegedly stole. Police say Jalon Cobb told them he would get one to three hundred dollars for mail that had personal information in it. He said the operation was going on throughout Central Florida with a focus on Orlando neighborhoods. But in St. Cloud, residents think this explains why their mailboxes were empty so often. Holiday time coming up, stuff you don't know what you've lost as far as family and stuff, sending you know, letters and whatever. So. And Cobb told police that this is a sophisticated operation. He says the man he gave money to had the equipment to make credit cards with the information that he would get out of those mailboxes. Police aren't saying much about the investigation, except that it is much bigger than just one or two guys. Reporting in Orlando, Steve Barrett, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.